Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Bachelorette Sam McKinney reveals tragic accident. Bachelorette alum Sam McKinney is opening up to fans about a tragic accident that changed everything. He feels fortunate to have survived at all and his story is something else. Keep reading to find out what Sam shared. Sam McKinney reveals life-changing accident. Bachelorette Sam McKinney is opening up about an accident that changed his life. He went to Instagram to share his story. He even shared a video from the hospital after the accident. According to his story, Sam said, A year ago today my life changed. To this exact date, I had a guy pull out in front of me, while doing about 55 miles per hour, which sent me flying over the top of his car onto the asphalt. No helmet on, no real protective gear, and I walked away with no visible injuries. But internally, I was tore up. Sam also thanked the physical therapy team that helped him during his recovery process. He thanked them all by name then added, I went from being unable to lift 25 bulbs, to completely back to normal. They helped me get back to everyday life, and the things I enjoy most like work and the gym. Forever indebted to y'all God is so good. He shared photos along with the video of himself with his therapists. Sam also shared a photo of his motorcycle that looked destroyed. Fans first met Sam during Gen Tran's season of The Bachelorette. He was public enemy number one until Devin Strader's past surfaced after the final. Now fans seem to be cooling off and many see that perhaps Sam isn't all that bad. Fans react to Sam's post. Sam McKinney received tons of support from fans on his post. A fellow Bachelorette alum, Thomas, said, A good friend told me he works in mysterious ways. Fans chimed in letting Sam know about similar experiences they endured. Others said they are very glad he's okay now. Still, other fans told him they hope that he uses protective gear now if he still rides. Most agreed that he had angels watching over him that day. Sam may have recovered physically from the accident, however he's still trying to recover his reputation after the show left him looking really bad. What do you think about Sam's story about the accident that changed his life? Have you experienced anything like it? Sam McKinney, the latest star of The Bachelorette, known for her radiant smile and warm-hearted approach to love, has long been a fan favorite. Yet, as the cameras cut and the lights dim on her nationally televised love journey, a story of heart-wrenching tragedy has come to light, a story she has kept deeply private until now. For Sam, her appearance on The Bachelorette was not just a quest for love, but a quest for healing. Behind the dazzling gowns, the romantic rose ceremonies, and the whirlwind of emotions shared with her suitors, Sam carried a painful secret. It wasn't until this week, after much contemplation, that she opened up about the traumatic accident that changed her life forever. Sam shared the heartbreaking details in a raw and emotional interview with Heart to Heart, a podcast dedicated to candid celebrity confessions. Her voice wavered as she took a deep breath, then dove into the story she had hidden for so long. It was supposed to be just another ordinary day, Sam began, her usually confident demeanor replaced with a vulnerability rarely seen by the public. My brother Ryan and I had planned a weekend away, just the two of us. We were incredibly close growing up, and even though our adult lives kept us busy, we always found time for our little adventures. She paused, her words heavy with emotion. Ryan was my best friend. That weekend Sam and Ryan had set out for a camping trip in the remote wilderness of British Columbia, a tradition they'd carried since childhood. Nature had always been their escape, a way to reset from the pressures of life. But as they drove deeper into the winding mountain roads, the weather turned. What began as a light drizzle quickly escalated into a full-blown storm. I remember feeling a sense of unease, Sam continued, her voice barely above a whisper. But Ryan was always so calm, so sure of himself. He said we'd be fine, and I trusted him completely. The storm worsened and visibility became near impossible. In a split second, their car hit a patch of black ice, spinning out of control. Sam's memory of that moment is hazy, a blur of screeching tires and the violent impact of metal meeting rock as their car skidded off the road and crashed into a ravine. When I woke up, Sam said, choking back tears, I was upside down, still strapped into my seat. The world around me was silent, too silent. It wasn't until hours later, when rescuers arrived, that she learned the full extent of the accident. Ryan had been killed on impact. 
The news crushed her. The brother who had been her protector, her confidant, was gone in an instant. For the longest time, I blamed myself, Sam admitted, her hands trembling. I kept thinking, if only we'd waited, if only we'd turned back when the storm hit. I lived with that guilt for years. Every happy moment, every success, was overshadowed by this overwhelming sense that I didn't deserve it, because Ryan wasn't here to share it with me. In the weeks and months following the accident, Sam withdrew from the world. She left her job, cut ties with friends, and slipped into a deep depression. I didn't see a way out, she confessed. I just couldn't picture a life without Ryan in it. It was during this dark period that her family intervened, urging her to seek therapy. Reluctantly, she agreed. Over time, with the help of a compassionate therapist and the unwavering support of her family, Sam slowly began to heal. It wasn't easy, she said. There were days when getting out of bed felt like climbing a mountain, but I knew Ryan wouldn't want me to give up. Her journey toward recovery was long, and the scars of that tragic day would never fully fade. But it was through therapy that Sam rediscovered her passion for life. She returned to the things she once loved, fitness, writing, and eventually, dating. It was a process of rebuilding, Sam explained. Piece by piece, I started to remember who I was before the accident. Still, when she was first approached to star on The Bachelorette, Sam hesitated. How could she open her heart to love again after losing someone so close to her? But in the end, she saw it as a chance to honor Ryan's memory. Ryan was always pushing me to take risks, to be brave. He believed in love more than anyone I knew. I thought, what better way to live in his memory than to go on this crazy, wild journey of love and let myself be vulnerable again? As Sam navigated the ups and downs of the show, she carried Ryan with her in spirit. There were moments, she admitted, when the weight of her loss felt overwhelming, but there were also moments of joy, where she felt as though Ryan was right beside her, guiding her. Every rose I gave, every connection I made, I did it with Ryan in my heart, she said tearfully. He would have loved this journey, he would have been cheering me on. The decision to finally share her story with the world wasn't an easy one. But Sam felt that now, more than ever, it was important to be transparent about her struggles. I think people see me on TV, and they assume my life is perfect. But behind the glamour, there's pain. We all carry our burdens, and it's okay to talk about them. It's okay to not be okay. Sam's revelation has sparked an outpouring of support from fans, many of whom have experienced loss themselves. Grief is universal, she said. If my story can help even one person feel less alone, then it's worth sharing. As Sam's journey on The Bachelorette continues, viewers now understand the depth of the woman behind the roses. She's not just searching for love, she's searching for peace, for healing, and for a way to honor the memory of her brother. In the end, Sam hopes that her story will remind others that love is not only something we give to others, but something we must give to ourselves. I'm still healing, she said but I'm learning to love myself through it all, and I know Ryan would be proud of me for that.